Jackson. I saw I saw a young man coming on stage, and I would, uh, without fail, I'd be in the audience watching you guys every single time. Mm. And what it was was you were you were stationary. You were stationary. You were. It wasn't even about the people. It was just you attacking the mic. It was just mm. like complete and utter. Mm. It's all like funneled information mm. coming down into your head, and mm. just the energy that. And that's what people connected with my yeah, brother. Yeah, I believe that, and that's what's coming. That's what that's what's ahead Good. of me now. That's Good. how that's I feel that same like the the the, 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 yeah. the spirits coming and saying, "Boy, I've got you back." Killer killer podcast. Killer killer official dot com. Street culture TV. Instagram UK frontline. Beatbox created. To talk about world music and street culture. Killer Coward podcast. Ultimately, I think when I when when I was trying to get to this place, there was a lot of negative energy coming at me, and because I was going through something, it's almost like some kind of energy is trying to get me to where I am now. Mm. You know, at times I really thought, man, I've fucking lost the plot. You know, mm. but it might be the case in certain environments maybe among shaman and in the amazon and stuff that they might have recognized this might not be a mental health problem this might be a spiritual process yes yeah, that needs free, the free, right absolutely. guidance yeah. rather than needs medicating needs yeah. you need to be told you're this you need to be told you're paranoid you've got this problem you've got what do all these diagnoses make me and i'm not putting down the medical world for everyone with proper mental health issues and stuff if you've been diagnosed medicine please talk to your doctor, don't listen to me, you know what I mean? What I'm saying is my case, this is me personally. So for me, I, I'm looking at it thinking, I don't, I don't really, you know, it's like, is this mental health or is this something else happening? And half of me doesn't know and half mm. of me feels like it is. And then you think, well, is, my, is, is this a delusion of grandeur? Or am I, you know, it's like the whole, <laughs> is that even a part of the mm-hmm. And it, it fucking confused the shit out of me of for years. But then it, it literally just clicked and I thought, I can't doubt this no more. And now I have to act on it and that's that's my presence now you know that's that is my intention and that's what i'm here to do no matter how that gets misconstrued and like i keep saying over and over i will keep saying it if i'm being misconstrued the best thing to do is come and ask me because i tell you what i won't do is lie and i've made lots of mistakes in my life and if i have to be accountable for them i will be and the uh, the one mistake i won't make ever again is denying that i make mistakes you know Mm. what i mean i'm a human man I'm not, I'm, I'm not up there on a pedestal. You, 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 that, I didn't put myself on a pedestal. But here's the thing as well, Chess, is, is um, you know, just going back to from a fan's perspective <clears throat> as well as an artist's perspective, mm. I think, you know, I don't know, Kurt Cobain, Janis Joplin, mm. uh, maybe go as far as Jimmy. Kanye, maybe Kanye to an extent. I mean, there's certain elements of, of our um, fanaticals that we want, we need to believe that our artists... Go through the things that, that that they rap about, that they sing about, that they believe. You know, that's what brings the hurt and pain out mm-hmm. of that vocalist. You know, mm-hmm. Janis Joplin, what? Mm-hmm. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, and Bob Dylan and mm-hmm. people like this. And, um, you know, your truest version of you really is what people are after, right? You know? Mm. Because even though it may hurt you or the conduit of that and it may not fit the, 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 criteria, the criteria of what they've experienced of you before, but that's your music is you. I, I, think, I think this is the point. I think now this, this, this... It's not to say that all the other times I was being inauthentic because I was being authentic to who I was then. The mm. point is now I have to be in, I have to be authentic to who I am now. But what's going to happen is that's going to attract people on that wavelength. So then I will create either new people interested in what I'm about to do or some of the people from the past might say, yeah, I'm really rolling with this because a lot of us are experiencing these sort of uh, energy shifts and mm. timeline connections and sort of people meeting twin flames, soul connections, all mm. these. And, you know, these are words that get used in certain uh certain demographics that put me off using them myself not not in a condescending way just because mm. some things i can see is not real i can see there's no gnosticism like when i say gnosticism i mean people have not experienced what they're talking about gotcha. they've read a book or they've been told it 
Yeah. Like, you know, I can tell someone something all day long. If you ain't experienced it, mm. you've only heard a story, right? Mm. And that's like everything in life, you know. You, if someone tells you a story about a person, you ain't experienced that person. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You let your mind run away with it and you start believing all this stuff and you ultimately end up in a fantasy land. Well, I don't, life, again, don't want to live there. And again, life is about little lives to have that conversation, you know. to Little to, lives and death. Yes, that's it. Death, death let is them the go. important thing. Move yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah that, absolutely. You know, life and death is the important, that, for me, death is the important important thing to remember in life and being to a, being embrace. A, being, a, being a city kid growing up, I mean, this, the, you know, the, the backdrop of, of London, something I'd never experienced as a child, or, you know, mm. it's what I'd travel up here for and meet the heroes, you know, mm. and this is what we ended up adopting, this UK hip-hop thing. As a kid, though, um, how, did, how did London treat you? How was that emotion? How was it emotionally on reflection? Look, I mean, it's... it's <sighs> It's something I have spent a long, long time healing to be able to even consider how to answer questions like that with honesty. You know what I mean? So there was, there was, I've spoken about it before and I've spoken about it in ways where I can't ever be fully honest because it doesn't just affect my life. Mm. It affects other people's lives too. And I forgot that at certain points in time. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I regret doing that because it's not a nice thing for anyone else to feel that I'm losing my mind and I'm starting to say things that I really shouldn't be saying in public. Mm. So I've, I've outgrown, I'm not outgrown, I, I'm not unwell as as I was, gotcha. so I'm 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 more capable of conducting myself around answering things like this, with some some level of honesty, you know. What Authenticity. I mean? but the restraint, yeah. exactly. But the restraint to know how to limit any kind of damage for mm -hmm. anyone else because it's my story I need to talk about. A thousand percent. You know, and no one else is part in that yeah. is relevant. But I do need to own my story, and I can't hide that away in order to protect everything else. And, you know, the last time I spoke about this was on Blade, God bless you, Blade. Yeah, we got on, Blade. On, yeah. On, his, on his podcast, and I spoke about some sexual abuse and stuff, and I mentioned things really that weren't my business to talk about publicly. Mm -hmm. And to the, to the people I spoke about, uh, who, whose lives it was, I, I, I actually spoke about in public without permission. I am truly, truly sorry, and I say this publicly now because mm. it's a good opportunity to do it. I would never, ever do something like that right now, but back then I was in my own triggered mode of trauma, mm. and I weren't thinking straight. And I've apologised to everyone in person, but I want to do it in public too because I'm, I'm not proud of talking about other people's trauma publicly, not because I lied, not because I've done anything wrong, mm -hmm. but because I didn't have permission to do that, and mm. it ain't my story. So I talked about some things in that interview that happened where we grew up not happened to me and that's not correct you know what I mean so now I know how to stick to what I, I, there was sexual abuse in my childhood on, mm. on a couple of occasions but this, some of the stories I was telling in the last interview were it weren't me being sexual abused, it was people where I grew up. Oh, and yeah. that that's where I went wrong, you know what I mean? And ultimately, I've always regretted that and felt shameful for Hey, it. man, it's out here, it's out there, you there you go. I mean, but it's, it, it, it is what happens, and to be honest, the code of silence around things like paedophilia needs to be mm. broken. Mm -hmm. It has to, and, and us as men who might have been through that kind of thing, we need to accept that you need to say it out loud to make it easier for young boys in that situation that to say it out loud. Mm -hmm. We need to know you're not going to get fucking mocked. You're not going to mm. get called names. Only, only nasty people are going to do that to you, mm -hmm. seriously. Real you talk. can keep the right people around you, mm -hmm. but don't ever keep fucking abuse a secret. Mm. Not ever. 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 Real talk. You know what I mean? And mm. that is that is the real thing. But talk to the right people and don't publicly ex just start saying shit if you're not ready to because it, it's going to fuck you up when people yeah. do come at you. Yeah, yeah. And that's okay. That's what people do. But, you know, in that... In you, I said things that I wish I hadn't have said because it weren't my business and it complicated it because I'm telling multitude of stories at mm. once because my mind's all over the fucking shop sometimes. Mm. As we can see now, I'm a little bit more controlled, you know? Yeah, yeah, mean? yeah, 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 exactly. So I can say, yeah, there was horrible times. There was beautiful times, you know? There was absolutely amazing times and they're what I choose to try and focus on now. Also, I've been doing work, the healing process psychologically, which is an internal method of sort of healing yourself by, you know, having dialogue with my inner child, mm -hmm. constantly going to these dark places where that child was in that situation and watching it happen to that child mm -hmm. psychologically in my mind and then bringing that child aside and yeah. helping it heal, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And that, that, 
that helps, you know what I'm saying? And over years of doing that, you can start reprogramming your mind into not feeling the trauma that the past has made you feel. Yeah. Because until that moment when you get rid of your trauma and stuff, you really can't do any real work spiritually because trauma is what keeps us in fear and anxiety. Yeah, that's right. And fear and anxiety is what keeps us in the 3D realm, mm. which is full of conflict, suffering and agony. It's a beautiful thing, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it, it, it's, that's my journey and that, that that's the solid truth. And... Um, like I say, man, over and over again, like any part of that that looks like there's a discrepancy, just pull me up, man. Because I'm, I'm pretty good at owning myself. And I mean, nobody, no harm. A lot of crazy shit went on over the past eight, nine, ten years. Mm. Some of it, I've probably done some stupid shit. I probably fucking projected my anger onto people. They probably thought, what the fuck is this guy about? You know what I mean? And I, again, all I can do is apologise, but if she, if no one comes to me to tell me I did something... I then it's an invisible, you're swinging yeah, at nothing. Because yeah, because I can't remember all the mad yeah. shit I got up to. Yeah. But, so if, if I did something and you're still sitting there thinking, fuck this guy, fuck this guy, but it's bothering you, then just do come. I don't, I don't care if you've had a pop at me in public. I don't care if songs have been written about me. None of that matters to me. It don't matter to me. I, I haven't come here for conflict, man. Like, I love everybody and I want us all to do good now. You know, like this stagnant energy it needs to lift and then all of our creativity will lift and i feel like we could all do with that i certainly could you know what i mean so there i am that's me what's your yeah fantastic as well i mean this is all very good isn't it i mean i'm, I'm, I'm mad excited <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, life life is killing me like, yeah it? in the best yeah, way i'm so you. excited about i can living. tell it's like you know i love it's... it like life is amazing the, the, the harder it gets the better it is for mm. me now i love it it's like wow i am learning so much from yeah. this yeah yeah, yeah yeah and 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 through the like you say the dark comes the light you Always. you learn as you go um, right so some questions that uh I've been meaning to ask you for a very, very long time. I want to talk about Graf. Because <laughs> if anyone as an MC knows about Graf, it's Chester Fee hacking Yeah, I, I don't know if that's true anymore, but yeah. Right, I, no, I, no, I, I love I, I, Let's go old school. Let's go old school. Let's okay. take it back. Let's take it back. Let's go back to Graf to Bath. In fact, let's go earlier than that. Graf Origines. Let's go right, oh, wow, right back. Right. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, North London of its time. The writers that were moving and shaking, mm. the influence that they had on you, and who were the who were the people that you knew, used to knock about with? In in graffiti culture, am I even allowed to talk about writers? Like, well, I do, do you know what I mean? That's... You could not be further from the truth, right? When people <laughs> talk about Task Force and Chester mm. and Farmer and talk about Farms graf... more to me is 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 the is where the writing connection really is. So from. that was where the yeah okay one hundred percent like it. it Farms can write. He's mm. fucking sick. He's right. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I started trying to learn to draw, but I can't do graffiti. Or not, not really. I, I just got a squeeze because I was knocking about with Robin and his friends, farm, <laughs> Farmer and his friends, you know, and um, his friends were all right. So in, in North London, the, the crew f who Farmer got about with was RCS, which would have Crazy. been radicals. And like at the forefront of that, or po possibly the um, actual founder of it, I believe, I might be wrong, would have been Mace. Mm -hmm. And um, Mace was one of the most inspirational people, man. Like, he, he was so nice to us, as uh, me and my age group as kids. So sick. You know, and we were tiny little kids, like 12, 13 or whatever. Super young, And my wow. brother's like a year and a half, maybe two and a half years older than me, so he was a little bit older. But, they, you know, while they're doing tracks and stuff, we're getting out on the tracks. We're, I'm, I'm, I'm walking train tracks in Rosas roller skates. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's a true thing. Me, me, me and an old friend of mine, I went, she, a female, a young girl I used to knock about with and another friend of mine who we used to call Wiggy. We used to get on the train tracks and stuff. And, you know, they, 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 were, they were fucking amazing times. But all the older, right, it would have been Massacre, um, Pest, Jasper, mm. Scare... Mm. Oh man! Uh, but you know there was lots of names. Uh, it's hard for me to remember now. If I if if I sat and wrote it, I'd have a bit of thing. But some of the writers that stick out to me in terms of legend and stuff would have been writers like Funbox. Like the, his name, you heard a lot, and yeah. it, it was like, oh yeah, d don't don't bump into him. You know, what I mean? really? sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but um, yeah, you know, you, you, he used to be a scary name. I never met him. Never known. All I heard was the legend is yeah, like he was a scary dude. So there was a. Uh, but I used to love graffiti but I was never good at it so it, it was farms he he's who 
introduced me to graffiti, well, to all of it, to breakdance. To gra- First, it was breakdance, you know what I mean? Mm. That's where we come from. So me and, I'll call him Robin, me and Robin, who's my brother, I love you to bits, Robin. Mm. No matter what, we, um, we used to go and get cardboard boxes and sellotape them all up and stuff and do our bits of flipping graffiti with our Sakura <laughs> pens or our <laughs> Pentel 800s we just stole from the flipping wholesale shop up on Hybrid and yeah, yeah. whatever. You'd come out with a box of Poscas or something, you know what I mean? Like, if proud of yourself, just battering every bus stop on the way back. And, you know, my brother's good at it and I'm watching that and I'm like, oh, God, it's some dyslexic school. You know what I mean? like, we, we definitely went to the same school there, Jess. Yeah, basically, the school of no school. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, we used to write all over our, our uh, cardboard boxes, make our break dance mats and try and do these dance choreographer mm. dance routines. Really? Well, that's ah! amazing. And I can't dance. I can dance worse than I can do graffiti, to be honest. So... <laughs> It was like, I'm no good at any of this shit until one day Robin come home rapping. And I was like, let me try a bit of that. And I still weren't really good, but Robin was like fucking always great. He had such a good style. What's the age difference between you guys? Uh, He's four, so I think it's two years, two months. Two years, two months. That's a good age, influential age for Yeah, so you can still sort of get on as kids... Yeah. As best as any siblings can, you know what I mean? Yeah. And we, we, we've had, like, every sibling, we had moments of getting on and moments of not. Uh, when you work and live together for so long, it can, it can yeah. get tricky. But, but that creativeness, that, that way that... The that, that 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 Taurus Cancer that. connection is always creative anyway. I, for anyone who thinks about that sort of shit, that, that always meant a lot. It can do a lot of powerful work. And mm-hmm. I think Task Force captured a moment in time. Mm. As as did everyone else in that moment in time capture their own moment in time. Mm. So I'm not taking away from the rest of the pioneers and the scene builders. I'm just referring to Task Force because that's what I was a part of. But, uh, you know, Mud Fan Berry Crew also, I feel like in that moment in time, there were, it was a very, very important spark of divine creation. Yeah, I think you've... Um, and I can only speak... Uh, from what I saw when, and I know you guys had done shows beforehand, but that 1998-99 tour that we did, that was a real... Fuck it, that, that was an incredible door. And I saw, what you know what I saw from... Uh, as a, That's a long time. Yeah, well, I know, we're old. Shit. <laughs> we're old, right? But, you know, what I saw coming around the corner with you guys, you know, getting into Zone 7 and really... Finding your feet in Liverpool and mm. in Manchester mm. and mm. Coventry. Do you remember when we did? Yeah, like there's so, so many moments. Birmingham was insane. Um, Bristol, Thecla, when we first went there. The fe- <sighs> but for, for the whole career, Thecla, like, hands, hats off to Bristol yeah. audience, Killed man. It. Their fucking vibe is fantastic. Your yeah. angles, compared to any other um, UK rap act, um, it had a, a it, it possessed a, a punk, working class, guttural. Um, we speak for you, you know. Yeah. You, we speak for you yeah. in in the pubs. We speak for you that might be into Oasis, but you're going to be into us as well. Possibly. Do you get where I'm coming yeah, from? Yeah, possibly. But I think the punk aspect, I would, I would go further back and put that on Bionic. I think Bionic Ooh. from London Posse is, okay. the, is the closest thing to, uh, like, punk. You know what I mean? Percent, ah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that fucking brilliant. His vocal... Know, t- like, big up Rodney P, of course, yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But London Posse in general. But I just always thought... I, I resonated with Bionic young yeah. because he sounded like the punks my mum and dad were voice listening had that. to in my Your voice mind. had that. But exactly. A, bit, a bit... Yeah, you know your voice I mean? had... And I'd urge everybody to revisit Task Force albums, Chester P albums, revisit all of them. They're everywhere. And you will be telling teleported to a place exactly like that where you're listening to a the, the anxiety the crazy the the, the, mm. the it's it's Tasmanian devil level kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah. do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. I, I was in a zone when good. I used to so rap, that's for sure like, yeah. I, I used to zone out like, I, there's been lots of times when I'm on stage and I don't really know what I, I, I'm not even present that's the good so I, 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 I saw come around and realise like right I'm, I'm actually I'm person not present so I no. saw I saw a young man coming on stage and I would uh, without fail I'd be in the audience watching you guys every single time mm. and what it was was you were you were stationary you were stationary you were it wasn't even about the people it was just you attacking the mic it was just mm. like complete and utter mm. it's all like funneled information mm. coming down into your head and mm. just the energy that and that's what people connected with my brother. yeah i believe that and that's what's coming 
That's what that's what's ahead Good. of me now. That's Good. how that's I feel that same like the the the, 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 yeah. the spirits coming and saying, Boy, I've got you back. Yeah, brilliant. You're a conduit. Here's your integrity. <laughs> Here's your heart, here's your soul, yeah. your back, you know, like, this is, this is it, drive, mm. drive your vehicle, tell mm. your story, be yourself, but do it in the most loving, respectful way for everyone mm. else, otherwise we're coming to f turn this power we've just given you into poison, you're mm. going to hurt yourself if you try and hurt other people, mm. this is what I'm getting, this is my message, don't go out there with bad intention, because we'll turn all of this against you, you see what I mean, so that's what, what if I'm you were to, Yeah, absolutely, uh, what if you were to, however, perform your songs... That you that you know from New Mike Order or you know any one of the amazing catalogues of, of songs you got. How does that sit with you from a um, you know compass perform, standpoint? Perform them where? Well, just like generally. Yeah. Well, that's what we. I've, I've pretty much did that for most of our career. But what I mean, like with the newfound kind of mindset. Yeah, it, that, I mean, I, I would probably try and move away from it, but obviously there's going to be audience who wants to hear that sort of thing, and I could do that. Um, it, it's, I don't know, it's tricky, man. It, I would be up for doing it, I guess. It's tricky, though. I don't know even know about what I will do in terms of performing. I'm not sure. For now, it's like, I don't really even have a plan. It's like I was saying, I'm, I, A, I, I, I want to be very stoic in myself about how I talk about what I may or may not do. Because that might change. changes yeah, yeah. all the time. So, and then it's like, I've got all this pressure. Oh, I said I'm going to do this. And then I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that no more. Mm. The, the moments change, you know. Like, so I try not to say nothing. And because I, I, I you know, I've been through a few weird situations and I, I'm a little bit sceptical to to give out information willy-nilly because it can be... Misconstrued. You know, yeah, you know, some, some, you know, if, you know, you, there's all kinds of ways to tour the country. Some people choose to be saboteuring, you know what I mean? And I am not, I am not that guy, man. Wow. So I'm trying to keep some of my shit to myself, but I also have a condition where it's like, I, it might even be logorrhea, which is a real condition. <laughs> But the brother don't know how to shut the fuck up sometimes, you know what I mean? And it's, it's a real thing that I have a problem with. I walk up and down pacing in my house talking out loud. My neighbours know it, my partner knew it. That's it your spiritual guidance, so I call it's, that it's you talking to your spiritual guidance. It's what happens, it's just guidance, cool, but, in, 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 what, you know, in general, I, I just think I'm turned on to everything and the tunes that I, I've made, like, a lot of, like, the projects I put out over the past seven years, so I've done the past with uh, Crept from CBM, Big Up Crept and CBM big Massive. Up, big uh, Up, you know, yeah, yeah. Django Man Cup. And it, he's a fucking amazing musician and yeah. artist. He's an incredible know. human. Amazing, yeah. amazing, man. So big anyone who don't know, go and follow yeah, Crept, yeah. CBM, fucking top yeah. guy, man, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Top. And it, Logical uh, thinker, deep uh, thinker. That, that beautiful mm. human being, man, but mm. just talented mm. to fuck, you know what I mean? Like, really inspire everything, man, like, sing everything yeah. like really inspirational human being artists you know and i, I shared a great creative moment with him and we, we we made the past and it got complicated because my mental health started going and you know in a lot of ways i've always felt like i let him down because i could have potentially made that into something bigger in my mind you know mm -hmm. what i mean so i always felt awful so i apologize you know but my mental health went and i couldn't cope with all of it so i had to it just had to be what it was but all these sort of projects I put out, another one after the Nameless Project and then a, something really scrappy because I was just fizzling by that point. But I don't perform any of that stuff for the one reason. I, I can't remember it. <laughs> like, literally. So I've been performing what you used to watch us do on the road in yeah. the fucking 90s yeah, and a few extra task force fucking tunes works for me. since works the for 90s because literally I can't remember the rest of this. I, I can read it over and over again and I ain't going to remember a word of it. What's your favourite song that you do from New My Corder, for instance? I mean, it's a very lame question. I don't know but if we even do any. I mean... What would it be? What would it be? Really? I, I've, I always thought I, I Wish Wishes Love was that. a nice song to perform. Uh, we both always remembered our words well. And that, yeah. that's what... Me and my brother, we were always like, well, what do we remember? Mm. You know, I'm sorry, sorry. I, I was certainly like yeah, that. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? I can't speak for Robin. I was certainly like that. In my head, it was that I prioritise over what I can remember, not what I like. So to me, it was like, oh, fuck. You know, I hate this song, but I remember it. Yeah, yeah, at least it's... But I, I don't really like my own music. I find it very difficult to listen to. You know, sometimes I get the, the, the fire to want to hear it. 
And I find MFTC more enjoyable because mm, I get it because it's dirty, you know, it's yeah. dark and yeah. it really reflects the place we were, you know what I mean? I and think it was the most truest version of you guys. It, it, for, at that, it was where we were, yeah, it really was. And, and as time's gone on, the, the whole area's changed and the way we've all changed and grown as human beings and then to watch that as a reflection, it's like, it's like watching your younger self in a muddy puddle almost and it's interesting. That's the great thing about art though, you know. Because it's archived. You, you've got your whole lifetime archive oh God, so you can just watch your, you can watch your change and yeah. growth you but know? also you see th it's almost like little time capsules as well exactly. of what life was like and i think that's what connects mostly with people um in a uk hip-hop world and often it gets completely misunderstood and overlooked for what grime what became as grime and things like that and you know uk rap but you know uk hip-hop particularly for the late 90s into the early noughties i mean big respect to demon boys big oh. respect to all of the you know all the original pioneers like this million is, dan yeah, man or oh, million dan come on um you know just incredible but all incredible. of them you know like this is the thing but when we talk about pioneers and legends and all that stuff i don't i don't want that title at all that's a, that's a that's a fallacy uh, fallacy fucking oh my God, one yeah. of the best rappers ever man yeah you know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah 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 exactly Yo, but you know it, it, it's, it is it is a myth to think that we had anything to do with pioneering hip hop that's a myth we pioneered an era of hip hop and to some people that was their golden era because that was their generation but the people all the rappers who came before us for them to hear us trying to take claim for being pioneers of it is not right you know what I mean that's like saying Elvis invented rock and roll oh, yeah. it's not right you know no, what no, I mean I get exactly do you know what, what I mean saying. so it's yeah. not like I I'm offended by it. It's just if I allow myself to accept that credential, to me, that's doing something wrong because it's misappropriating or however I'm allowed to use that term. You know what I mean? To me, that's yeah. an appropriation that's not authentic. Ultimately, I, I my first introduction to the London rap accent was Rodney P and Bionic, mm. Money Mad. And that's till, still to this day probably one of my top three British hip hop tunes. You Heavy know what I duty. Mean? Music. And then it would have been North Sides by Demon Boys, and then it would have been um, oh, Negative Forces by Son of Noise. Yo, Yo so Son of Noise, Kurok, come on. Up, Kurok, um, Black Twang. But, but here we go. Southeast. Now, we're getting, now, into, we, now no. we're getting into territory where, to me, this is the best hip hop ever. Hundred percent. Right? That whole because album it, it, was just it's like got, it's, got, it's got commercial power. Yeah. It's got it's musically just be when I listen back and I listen to the advanced how advanced Roots Maneuver and Black Twang were mm. compared to most of us their sound everything Fucking just the machines, quality the, the, the choruses the, the sound of the voice oh. was just I it, get goosebumps thinking man, about oh, I, I, my, that, look, brand new second man, hand man yeah, off, man. brand new second hand all day I, would, I listen to that now thinking it takes me straight back to that era all, all, the, all that stuff I mean all the, the Ronin at uh, 12s all of that I, 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 all that stuff too but I mean when Queen's Heads came out by yeah. Black Twang I mean I, I, I ran to the shop the day after I heard that on yeah. 279 Big Up 279, yeah. Big up 279. I hear it on 279 show and I'm like what the fuck is this yeah. like, I was straight up West End you know Big Up Deal Real P yeah. you know what I mean and I was in there buying this and I was a huge huge fan of buying records from, uh, from, from our own shores and uh, like into other people's music. And this is before anyone really knew who we were, you know? Rest in peace, Ty. Uh, oh. And there's another man. Mm. And Alkaline. And too. Alkaline, uh, rest in peace. Uh, Silent Eclipse, that album. Absolutely. There you go. So now I'm glad you said Fuego. that. Way go. Because I'll tell you something, Black. Can you get it on YouTube, man? You, can, you can't even get it. It's like, dude, that, is, that was one of the ain't, seminal ain't, moments. Ain't, I ain't seen a rapper as powerful as That's MCD all. ever. Never. Not like I remember seeing him live once and that just absolutely Whoa. cut me to pieces. Bro, yeah, the what? first time I saw him, I, I stood at the just front of the crowd and just hmm. and I, I left that building and thought, wow. Mm. Like that man meant it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that touched me in a way. It was like that was the most authentic thing I think I've mm. ever fucking seen. And it, like, whoa, you know? And I, I wasn't sure how we were all gonna get on and stuff, and then we embrace each other and it is yeah. like beautiful human being, man. Big up, big up. Yeah, Dan, 279 man. as well put us onto that don't judge a book by its cover tune. And it was just like that was almost like, oh, this this sounds innocent. Mm. <laughs> let's, let's go into the album. And it's like, wow, it just, it's an education. The shit mm. was a whole education in itself. Yeah, of course, man. But I mean he he was touching things 
that my mind was only just beginning to sort of contemplate. He was mm. explaining them mm. d in depth, like. Mm. So, yeah, but what an era of time. But this is the point, you know, for us, we can reminisce as this age group mm. and think, yeah, this, this was the pinnacle moment. Mm. But for the guys before, they've got their Covent Gardens, like we yeah, were just yeah. looking at in the Norms, Big Up Normsky, yeah, Big Up Normsky, Normsky we books, just you know, book, we're looking yeah. at the photos and like, wow, look at this, And their influences man. were and like... that was their golden yeah, age, and their you influences know? were like Scar... And, oh, and, and, and punk and ska yeah, yeah. and, and two tone yeah. And, yeah yeah and and reggae and 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 the blues I would imagine a yeah. lot of this music's had a huge influence. I oh, know you connect with in, that as well, uh, don't you? Fast you're, forward you're into, into the future, the, the, the generations that come after us have their golden age. Yeah, they have their people who they look at and think, well, you pioneered this part of it. But we got to remember the the, the original mm. pioneers, mm. all the smiley cultures. You know, yeah, all yeah, the way yeah, back yeah, here, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, Merlin. Yeah. All these old school man, you know, like Daddy Freddy, man, you know, like <coughs> this, this is pioneers. I can't take that, I, you know. Mm. What I mean, I, I, we had our moment, and we we started a a, a new wave, mm. which took it to the next wave, which took it to the next wave. But if we're gonna do pioneer and legend, we have to keep it authentic to the roots, mm. and you know, to me, that 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 goes way before it was even integrated racially as much as it is now. Yeah, and I think we must bear that in mind. Yeah, you know, what I mean, culturally as people. Totally. I completely, utterly agree, because it's easy to run ahead with the ball, isn't it? Um, and also, I, I don't know how you feel about this, but when you say the word pioneer and legend with anybody, it almost stunts their growth. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It, 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 it can carry itself as some kind of, I'm sure I've been guilty of it, it can carry itself as some sort of entitlement. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? Somewhat. Like you, 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 you might not even try as hard as you should because yeah. you just think, well, I'm, 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 what? Well, that's what I'm thought of, so yeah. that's what I'll be. I, I'm just being it. Yeah. I don't even have to try to be it no more. You already think I am it. So the fire goes because yeah. you're not trying to prove that you are. Do you think you're not trying, think to, you're not trying to prove you're the best version of yourself no more? You're just letting people tell you you're the best yeah. version of yourself and going, oh, I'm the best version yeah, of myself. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. really, you've let yourself slip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Easily you, done. Your, your makeup smudged and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh, gosh. <laughs> Here comes the unhappy clown. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the journey of the fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow, yeah, journey of the fool. Yeah. Believing that of what's been said uh, is, I guess it's it's the sentiment of the, the episode, the podcast here. Um, very interesting stuff. Mm. Um, and it, I cannot go any further without saying the name Skinny Man. In of this, course. You know, yeah, uh, Skinny about. Man, Mongo, yeah. Intense. Ooh. Everyone, man. What was it going to go? Actually, can I? Well, Twilight I'm, Eyes, yeah. Locks yeah, yeah, all of that. All Sparks, yeah. Guzla, the OG, OGs, the OGs. Shocking B. They Come taught on. people how to do sticker campaigns. Well, uh, we, yeah. I mean, but you see, but it, that is where vandalism and graffiti first integrated into our lifestyles as musicians mm. because we were up for vandalizing things. When we put a sticker campaign on the road, it, it was. It was destructive. You had bus man. stops We moved. had whole bus stops removed <laughs> constantly. Yeah. Not just once. They would put a new one there. And it'd be like, let's go. Let's <laughs> do it again. <laughs> just drilled. Yeah. We would do... It was, it was a good life. It was. Yeah. We were earning money huh? for the first time. It, I mean, it probably isn't even legal, but I thought it was. Uh, 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 <laughs> you know, yeah, when yeah. the police used to come, we'd be like, what? Like, what? I yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They take the uh, roll off you. Yeah. They take your details, and then you just carry on doing it. Of right? course, skinny Mongo, intent, all, all of the guys. You know what I mean? And mm. again, it's like when I'm trying to name everyone, I I, I forget people. And if you name nine people out of ten and forget that one, you fuck. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah. So what I'll say to avoid that is all of you. You yeah, know, yeah. all the berry, all the mud, all of the task force yeah. situation, you know, red rum, demolish Ooh. everyone. You know what I mean? Calculus, everyone. All mm. listen. It, it, there has been so much creative fire, but we, we all come from Highbury at one point and then it integrated to Finsbury with the Skinny Man connection, Mongo connection, so it became the Berry. And then, you know, yeah. it's like there's the whole history. It's been said lots of times, but it was a, it was a powerful movement. Now, re regarding Skinny Man as a talent and what he is creatively, is, I, I ain't seen many people be out of freestyle with such fucking... Wow. Swag. Smile, yeah, just amazing. Just like <laughs> true charisma. Yeah. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like yeah. A real fucking, a real performer, yeah. you know, yeah. in the best possible sense of the yeah, word. Big up, like big up David Ross. He, he defines him as the Keith Richards of UK hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> kind I mean, of with that. Yeah, I can see, you know, <laughs> like, but he, 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 he literally epitomizes everything you need. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. he, he has it all. He has good the skill, all. the character, charisma, yeah. the eccentricity. Yeah. It's like, it's good, proper, proper, yeah. old fashioned British eccentricity yeah. to it. It's fine. 
Ennis. So he's got the up north swagger to go with yeah. the, it, the London Cockney swagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know, it just what works. can be said about Skinny yeah. other than like, okay, maybe here we can permit the word legend. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, you know, with no stunting brother. of progression because you're killing it. You just keep it. going. You just do your thing. Yeah. Well, what he's a he... beautiful thing to, for us all to witness. You know what I mean? Because it's one of the fucking best solo albums to ever drop. Yeah. And what a beautiful Cancer, thing now, yeah, well, you know, of course. state of mind. Incredible. And and, and for now, those of us wow. who know Skinny, we know the authenticity of his story. The realist yeah. of the real. Um, and, you know, just to, you know, just bat it back to you, like Skinny's been on the podcast at least four or five times in different guises with its live performances or a couple of podcasts sitting down, Christmas episodes and all that. And he, these guys cite you so highly as an MC yeah, and I, They absolutely adore you, brother. I love them too, man. But, you know, like along the line, my mind's gone funny and I found it hard to... I, I find it hard to accept people are not trying to hurt me, and that's mm. my own a part of my own mental health thing. Mm. You know what I mean? Not mm. th not them particularly, just no, just no, in I general. It. I, I get it. Like, I find it hard to know what's what's right and what's wrong. So my head's gone all over the place there, mm. and, and Skinny's been very accommodating and friendly towards mm. me, and help tried to help me understand and reassure me all the time. Man, some of these things are going on in your mind. So God bless you, Alex. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. Um, but these are the states of the affairs, you know. So uh, as times coming forward I'm I'm learning how to accept actually you know uh, some of this stuff might have been paranoia it's a hard thing to mm. uh, to face uh, you know like to have to see say to yourself right you know I'm it, it might not have been the case it might have been me you know I mean? that's human mm. that's human but you have to get to that stage it's it's like I was saying to someone the other day it's like alcoholism if you are in denial that you're an alcoholic you can never cure it because you never accept that you are mm. It. Mm. so the first step to curing alcoholism is to actually admit it yeah. and realise, oh, shit, I am an alcoholic. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a game, you know yeah. what I mean? I'm an al And one day, if I don't stop, it's going to kill me. Yeah, yeah. And the only other option is to stop and try and live a life, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you can't get to that place unless you uh, can admit it to yourself and denial will stop us. And the same goes when you've had really bad mental health breakdown. If you keep associating things that you went through in that mental health, health breakdown as real, then you are p perpetuating that mental health breakdown mm. and not finally saying, okay, I had a mental health breakdown. None of that stuff would have been real. You know what I mean? I, th that was me. I was, chase I was chasing invisible things around my estate. You know mm. what I mean? And this is the truth in my boxer shorts and stuff. And th that's the God's honest truth. Mm -hmm. So I know that didn't happen. So therefore I know a lot of things didn't happen and it was a part of the thing that I was going through to get me here now. Mm. Get so everyone who's had patience with me and, you, you know what I mean, being respectful f for the trouble I've been going through, I appreciate it a great mm. deal. Uh, you know, I'm sorry if I ever caused anyone any inconvenience. Without, so. without s snaring you into a corner and, uh, you know, having, having a conversation and also not speaking on behalf of anybody, which is super important, mm. are you, you and Robin ever going to collaborate in the future? Can you ever see it happening? Nah, nah. No, no, not. It's. It, it, I. I've. I've gone through all kinds of emotions about this situation, and the only way I can leave it is, uh, me and Robin know what what's gone on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and we, I think we both know and have to accept that. It, 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 it just, it, it just can't. It, I. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't know about Robin. I can't. I just can't. No. But, you know. But it's not. The, it's not. It's not. An, it's not an anger. It's not. A, it's not any kind. of... So I just want us. I just, I just need to heal and get on with me. Mm. I, I, I can't, I can't do anything like that no more. I, I can't. I just can't. I can't even do family too tough no more. Mm. You know, like I, I, my mum is the most beautiful human being I've ever come across, and I, I struggle to be around it because it can trigger me into places. And mm. I think the relationship me and my brother have shared, we've both been through some some childhood problems and I think we've both learned to deal with them in very different ways and at this point in our lives if we connect the differences between how we're dealing with our childhood problems is going to clash constantly mm. and I think it's going to spiritually damage us both more than anything so also I don't have my heart in that so therefore if I did it I would be selling Task Force fans short of what they deserve because mm. Task Force always meant it and I don't mean it anymore. Mm. So I can only be real about that. Mm. And that's not a reflection of my relationship with my brother, which isn't in, it isn't in a, a communicating no, no, state. No, I get it. But it's not a reflection of that. It, the truth is my heart's not in 
I, I am not task force anymore. Mm. Neither, neither's farms. He's mm. doing amazingly at, at what he's doing, mm. and that's what I want him to keep doing, mm. providing he's happy doing that, mm. and that my full support is behind that one hundred percent. Have no problem. That's great. I don't want to do task and, force. And or not, yeah, task force. Task I, force. No, I mean, so. I don't want to work. At, like, not, I, not I try and work with people, all, any people, and after a few weeks, I just think they're trying to be playing silly games with me and I end up just having to pull out because I, I literally I just can't trust that people's intention is good with me mm. so I keep trying to make these sort of bridge I keep trying to build bridges and try and work with people who I think are amazing and then after a, a minute I start thinking I don't know if they're just trying to like jar me or jab at me or something so the best thing for me to do is isolate myself creatively because I come to a conclusion since I come back online I, I got overexcited enthusiasm I'm childlike you know like mm. wow mm. I'm back you know I'm, mm. uh, people actually don't hate my guts you know what I mean with so I'm, open arms we're here you know, and I'm, I'm like trying to embrace that at the same time trying not to let my head get bad go too far ahead with it all yeah, yeah, yeah and like ahead. so what I've done is I've been a bit too over enthusiastic a bit too excitable and you know then I stopped conducting myself properly and I, I need to ground myself you know and some I, I posted a thing today talking about just take my shoes and socks off and walk on the grass because it, it helps you ground oh man listen listen that is a whole that that's a that's a that's a chapter in itself you know the grounding of a human and in its environment uh, you know and going back to what you were saying you know a lot of people of have got their heads in the clouds and not even connecting with mm. anything natural like no. I feel you um we love you I love we, everyone. We I love fucking me. love you, bro. For the first time. Yeah. I actually love myself. I'm so fucking, you know, for you to be here, me say it to your face, I'm so fucking proud of you. Thank you. And it, it means the world that you're, you know, not only have you given us the opportunity to chat, but moreover, just your state of mind and your honest accounts and how um, best you know yourself the best way to move forward. And that's what's, that's what's key to all of this. That's what it is, yeah. yeah. And do you know, ultimately that unlocks a whole lot of my own psychological blockages mm. is when I come into the empowerment of actually, it ain't nothing to do with this situation, that situation, mm. that situation. You know what you got to do is, all right, I, I, I'm struggling with my head. What's What am I doing to make that better? Firstly, before I talk to doctors or ask this for help, or ask, what am I doing that I, I, I can do to make my mm. own situation? Well, the first thing, what... What's really fucking me up on a daily basis? Alcohol and substances. Mm, mm. So if I'm not prepared to tackle that, then I'm full of shit asking for support or asking for friendship. And mm. at some point I got there and I, I'd played the victim role in my own head. Like, oh man, I've been abused. I've had, it crept up on me and mm. it triggered me into this cowardly little kind of like, oh mate. Mm. And I'm, I'm not knocking that. You might have to go through that and go through what you have to go through. I had to, but now I think, yeah, yeah I don't want, I, I ain't nobody's victim. Mm, like, mm. The, the only victim I am is the victim to my own bad decisions. Mm. And that's when I start looking at, ah, you know what, I have to be the guy to fix me. You know, who, who the fuck mm -hmm. else can fix you? No mm -hmm. no one. So what, what I'm, I have to stop drinking because when I drink, I trigger and I become an asshole. And I'm not an asshole, but I drink all the time. So I'm an asshole all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I wish some assholes would... You know, work this one out. Yeah, you know mean, what I mean? Like, because a lot get, of them out there. You know, drinking. people people think alcohol is a bad thing, and mm. it, it, I'm not going to say it isn't. It's a terrible poison. It can fuck people's lives yeah. up. But some people are, are use it responsibly, and maybe it ain't so bad. But that's their choices and decisions. As far as I'm concerned, I gave alcohol a bad name. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm that guy. You know I mean, hey, like I give it that reputation. Oh, you know what I mean, I'm that I'm that idiot. You know what I mean, uh, it is true, and it is true, and it made me an arsehole. And not only that, at the end of alcoholism is always substance abuse for me, being cocaine, mm. which is um, something that I've struggled with for a, a better part of my adult life, mm -hmm. which is the closest thing to true evil I have ever encountered. Mm. And that will take away everything about you. Mm. That will take away your self-worth, your integrity, everything. And you'll find yourself behaving like... Chasing it like a dog. Yeah, yeah. It, it, and, you know, I, I'm a decent person and that shit's had me behaving undecent a number of times. Mm. So stay away from it if you can. Yeah, All that bravado, clear that. Clear it, ain't, that. Yeah. it ain't a good fit. I don't... I've been, I've been fucked 
with cocaine problems for the best part of 30 years, mm. and I have friends who have died at the age of 29 because of it. Mm. No one I know who's come along this path doing this sort of has substance had a stuff good has time. had a good time by the time they're my age. <laughs> yeah, We're yeah, all yeah. fucking struggling. Yeah. Yeah. And believe that is the truth. Talk. All that glamorization. Oh, yeah, let's get drunk, let's do this. Mm. Listen, it's fun when you're 20 something, but when you're a fucking 50 year old yeah. addict, it ain't no fun. Yeah. And it's killing Try us. getting out of it. Get Try out of getting it out earlier of it. Yeah. Because your life is important, your energy is important, not this. Mm. It's a devil. It's the devil. We'll talk. It's a beautiful Jerry Springer sign off if I've ever I've had one. That's fucking the one. We've jerried out today. Yeah. Man, and I'll tell you what, man. Do you know on the way here, I sorry to interject. On mm? the way here, I said to myself, just come on a real light-hearted tip. Like, don't <laughs> don't speak too much. Quiet yourself. I have a the double espresso downstairs. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I tell you, man. No, yeah, listen. Good, man. This has all been beautiful. This is all really good. And yeah, it's been nice. I've yeah, enjoyed it. And a really nice update to know where you're at and that better things and new things are on the way. Mm. Indeed, for everyone. Yeah. For everyone. And that's that, another great message is, like, don't give up on self. Mm. You know what I mean? Don't ever give up on yourself. Man. It, you, even in your darkest moments, you know, it's, it's, it's those moments, it's very hard to see it like this. But one day you're going to look back on that and think, wow, that was important for me to go through. Mm. And, you know, if you're ever in that place where it's like you can't find your way forward, I urge you to call someone and mm. do something because I tell you what, every bit of energy is so fucking sacred. Mm. And I, I need your energy. Mm. Stay with us, yeah? Don't ever put your fire out. Yeah. Burn. We'll talk. Let's burn the fuck out of them. I, I read a quote the other day. I, um, I think it's Albert Camus is his name, I believe. And he says, I'm going to paraphrase, you know, but he says something like, you know, the truest act of revolution in a system like this is to live your life as freely and proudly as possible and stand up and own your authenticity. This is truly paraphrasing now. Oh, yeah, but, hard. you know, that is the truest act of revolution because the system's trying to stop you be who you are. You know what I mean? And this is not like a us-them Illuminati talk. I'm, I don't buy all these things. Mm. It may or may not be real. It don't serve my purpose to think about it. Mm. Love is the only thing I need to think about and how to love myself, in which case I can project that love onto the world. Done. 500 episodes, but there's only one Chester P. Hacking bush in the place. Thank you so much, Thank my you, brother, man. my guy. Been an absolute pleasure. Man. Real 19 long time, this right here. Real talk. Mm. That's a real 19 long time. Um... Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining 500 episodes. And of course, uh, for those of you who are here uh, late, <clears throat> uh, I might just say to our early birds, happy Christmas as well. You know? Merry Kimbo. Merry Christmas. Not that we're celebrating decoratively because obviously this is you know evergreen content, you understand. <laughs> but like we're uh, in, out, like in was out of fashion. And thank you so much for everything. Keep sharing, sharing, caring, telling the people about the people and all the things that we're doing over here, all right? Crime don't pay, neither do they. Stay lucky, people. Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, that's a speech, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right.